My name's Simon Hannaford and I am a serving bomb disposal operator. I've been an EOD operator since 2011. Uh, prior to that I was a search team commander. I've come up with a 2.6 challenge to swim the length of the channel, uh, cycle from Land's End to John O'Groats, run the first mile in uh, MP Aerospace's bomb suit, then run the rest of the 732 miles back down to Bista and finishing on Armed Forces Day on the 26th of June. MP Aerospace have, have decided to um, support me throughout this challenge. They came up with the idea of how about running the first mile in, in one of our bomb suits. The harder the challenge, the more someone's going to appreciate the amount of money that I'm trying to raise. I thought that, that that sounded a great idea and therefore took up the challenge of running a mile in MPA Aerospace's bomb suit. At the end of uh, my 26 marathons in 26 days, uh, a couple of my colleagues and friends sort of mentioned, oh, what are you going to do next year? Swim the channel, cycle from Land's End to John O'Groats. And uh, things started whirring around in my mind and I thought, do you know what, I may as well do all of them. Uh, so I'm raising money for the Felix Fund again and the Hummingbird Centre, which is a cancer support centre in, based in Bista. Uh, and the reason why I chose the Hummingbird Centre is because last year my mum was diagnosed with breast cancer and um, she probably could have done with something like the Hummingbird Centre around her to support her. Uh, because the treatment is usually worse than the actual disease. So that's why I chose the Hummingbird Centre, because that's exactly what they do. And the reason why I've chosen the, the Felix Fund is because they, they are specifically there to support uh, the EOD and search fraternity. They uh, run dashboard courses, which uh, they send you away for a week um, to a nice hotel, feed you nice food do yoga and you get a chance to speak about stuff uh, so it's more to do with mental health, mental resilience and being able to process the things that we see and do as a daytime job. But with this particular challenge I've uh, set the bar at £50,000 per charity so in total £100,000 I'm trying to raise. When I came up with this idea of the challenge Obviously there, there would come a financial burden uh, to be able to make the challenge happen. Uh, so I approached uh, several different companies and MP Aerospace obviously is one of the, the companies that decided to, to help support this challenge along with Camper King who have donated one of their rental vehicles for us to use throughout the duration of the, the challenge. Uh, realistically, we probably wouldn't be able to do it without Camper King giving us a, a vehicle. Um, we've got the Arvark Group who have financially helped us. Pearson Engineering, again, they were the first people to come back to me and say, yeah, this sounds like an absolutely amazing idea. So again, thank you very much to Pearson Engineering. Again, it wouldn't have happened without their involvement. You definitely get to find out about what you can physically do what your limits are. I still haven't been completely tested yet but there have definitely been times where I've come close to being tested. Physically I'm, I'm, I'm good at the minute however the next 733 miles is definitely going to put that to the test.